on how to play Take Your Time by Vance Joy. We're on standard tuning. There's no capo. In this tutorial, we're just going to go over the finger picking and the progressions for each section of the song. So I'm not going to teach you the chords. We're just going to go over the chords as we walk through here. We're going to start out with our ring finger on the third fret of the low E. Index will be on the first fret of the B. Okay, so now we're going to, our finger picking goes like this. Low E string, G, B, G, D. Next we're going to drop our index finger, so now your ring finger is the only finger on there. Again, same strumming, so low E, G, B, G, D. Okay, and at full speed it sounds like this. Okay, and let's slow it down one more time here. Whoops, you start with your index finger on. And that's it for the first part of the verse. <clears throat> now then you gotta get into this progression that sounds like this. Okay, so now we're on our A minor. So for your A minor, your index is on the first fret of the B string. That's your second string up, one, two strings up. Your middle finger is gonna be on the third string down or your D string of the second fret. And your ring finger is on the second fret of the G. And now the picking is going to go A, G, B, G, D. At full speed. We're going to move our ring finger off of that G string up to the third fret of the A string for our C chord. Same picking, so A, G, B, G, D, A, G, B, G, D. And finally, you're going to take this index finger off. You're going to move these two fingers up one string, so now your middle is on the second fret of the second string down, which is your A string, and your ring finger is on the third fret of the topmost string here. And now again we're going to pick low E string, G, B, G, D. And you're going to do that four times on this chord. Okay, so starting from the beginning here, A minor, minor, C, to our G, and at full speed, Okay, so that's the second progression we're gonna learn. We've got two more to go through here. The next one starts out on our C chord, so we've already learned that. Same picking. Then we're gonna move our index finger up to the second fret of the D string. Ring finger or your middle finger, it doesn't matter. On the third fret of the B string, that's your second string up. D, G, B, G, D. We're gonna, oh actually, sorry I messed this up. So really all you need for this transition from that C chord is your ring finger on the third fret of the B. You know, it's actually an open D we're gonna play, so. Then you're gonna drop this finger, add your index finger to the second fret of the E. back to that chord. Sorry, I messed that up, but let's go ahead and play through it here. So you start out on your C chord. Go to this D chord. Switch to your index finger there. Back to that chord. What that sounds like at full speed is this. And that's all there is for the third progression.
progression that we're going to talk about. And now there's one final progression that sounds like this. Okay, so this one we're going to start out with our index on the 2nd fret, the A, 2nd string down. Middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret, the low E. So now picking is low E, G, B, G, D. We're going to do that four times, so we'll pretend this is the fourth one. Now we're going to move our index finger down to the 2nd fret of the low E. We're going to pick, sorry, the D string. We're going to pick D, G, B, G, D. Move our middle finger to the third fret of the A. And then back to your G. And by the way, you stay on these for two. So this chord for two. And this one for two this G chord gets four. And those are all the progressions that are played throughout the entire song. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I did go through that all pretty quickly, so I understand if you have questions, but feel free to comment below. I'll try and answer them for you. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.